Omni. Was the prophecy forewarned from pages torn by the candlelight underneath the guise of the scorn? From the morning she was born, she stayed true to her form. They watched her rise up to power as they knelt by the throne. The oracles predicted him, then carved into stone. The scriptures of the greatest one who would ever be known. Her legacy was idolized, the hand became the price until the night that took a life beneath the black skies. The Christ became the tigers with the flow compromise. Her body emerged as a crescent when she met her demise. For every time the lot in each betrayer who tried, she would take it on strike as you could see it in her eyes. The plot thickened from the beginning, so it was told. The majestic and triple woman who would never grow old. Wrapped in linens, wrinkled trimmings, and the attitude bold. With an empire of desire worth ten thousand fold. Envious enough to shed a blood in the cold. Her predecessors never got their chance to console. The troubled soul they didn't know and never aware of the kingdom's plan to sacrifice her life with great care. Adhering to the prophecy, precisely prepared. No one knew it could be stopped, but no one would dare. The tears of triumph radiated throughout the lair. Her spirit shaped the atmosphere and her breath to the air. Clearly a travesty of a goddess so fair. The clairvoyant tell that one day all her people would share. The temple lights that flicker and the lightning bolts to strike. The silent tension shattered all across the land at night. Like shards of glass, she couldn't pass of course she couldn't fight. Some say she knew but didn't escape for fear of who would say. If she confessed the truth was in a letter she would write. Although dismayed, she prayed the scrolls would one day see the light. The story couldn't remain until the weight was too great. How could she fight for her life when the kingdom was at stake? Young in age but wise in years don't make the mistake. Her beauty shielded by her fear until the day it was too late. Every suspicion reason and the attempt she contemplate drove her to hesitate because they already sealed her fate. And in the late of the night, by the light of the moon, with the blackest ink of papyrus, she had penned out her doom. Adjacent lake like pools of blood they'd all witness soon. The wind was still but still she felt a chill within the room. Just the thought of futuristic monuments and tombs created in her honor let her tear become true. She disappeared around the corridor but couldn't hide. Cautiously she hit the note on scene by all eyes. Someday it would resurface and the world would realize that her rule had been prestigious but a plan had been devised to strip her of her duties as the empress of that time. The common scene was coming and her reign was to decline. Preparing for the ritual had long since been designed and it made it even harder for her to keep the peace of mind. Sleepless nights a world of fight but courage to comply. I knew she'd never rest it but she'd always wonder why. A servant and companion I had no place to pray. I joined her in the temple that night and then into the next life. It's my fulfilling duty and I simply couldn't deny. Still I felt upset knowing that she'd expect to die. We never spoke of the kismet but still the stress was present. For her it was deception yet for me the best of lessons. Her strength and her acceptance extended like a lesson. Empress by definition, woman by impression. Left no doubts and no regrets, my peace at her discretion. She drifted off to sleep and there was nothing left to question. Years leading up to this, now the time had come. Facing fears, no tears, she would reluctantly succumb. Heart pounded like a drum because she knew it. She'd become a legend after her ascension to the gods of the sun. Suddenly the sky turned black, the moon's aligned as one. By this time tomorrow, her dominion will be done. Side and side by silence, down the corridor we walked, made our way to the temple. Then she turned to me and paused. At first her eyes look empty, her features with applause. You don't accept the sacrifice, so you accept the cause. The words I heard the empress say made me want to applause. As we reach the ceremony site, I stopped at what I saw. Ivory candle sticks will lit the glow that they emit. The stones with ancient script depicted what I simply could predict. Descriptive verbiage of misses on this night. Her neck will sit the rooms adored with golden gifts and lotuses were freshly picked. Altar with the neck of flint to take her life as it was it. Bit by bit, submit to fit. This was the crime that they commit. One soul afflicted with the pain the other couldn't sense. The crowd looked on and how they longed to cheer at her expense. Suspense accumulated as the right was to commence. Both the burden bloodshed, she surrendered her defense. In burned my spirit, yearned to pray she went to stress. Alas, we've seen the rise and fall, the greatest one of all in press. This channel is about hip-hop. Nothing but hip-hop. This channel was designed to attract and locate hip-hop heads of the highest regard from all over the world. This channel grows slow because finding the right people takes time. If you are watching this live video right now, it means you bleed and breathe hip-hop. We're glad you're here. You are why this channel exists. Now let's get the party started. Enjoy the show. So proudly we are stand a severed hand That's a huge bitch Holy shit Hell yeah Let's get it on bunch of songs lined up for you and just right off the bat since they're all probably watching we had a really fucked up thing happen on the podcast 
Okay, there's two fucked up, two fucked up things that happen on the podcast. Mm. Um, Lady Poetic, what was that song you heard in that horror movie again that Joe posted the Wiener Bar song? Yeah, Tonto. The, uh, yeah. Oh. Apache, Tonto. Apache, Tonto. Apache Tonto. <laughs> <laughs> so that so that made an appearance in, in Lady Poetic's life. So that's messed up. <laughs> but another thing is is that for five point four, we actually had a three way tie. A th- that's never happened before in in history. That is holy a holy shit, shit moment. Shit, shit, uh, shit. Presso Presso tied unique one and forces unknown. So next mm-hmm. week, five point four, the made by you, the the most requested person, uh, is going to be a three way split. So we're going to give them four tracks each. Fuck this competition Boom. shit. Let's just go four tracks Boom. each. And keep four it, tracks keep it of peace, baby. That's so how next we do. week, yeah, we got a, a mixtape specifically brought for you by three of the most. Uh, the, the most important people of this channel, you know, I mean, they've been here since the start. So it's going to be, it's going to be an awesome channel. Presto, just so you know, I noticed your microphone is off. So in case you start talking, it is off unless you keep it off for a reason. Thank you. Cause there's no background noise. <laughs> um, Ignacio, how the hell are you brother? Hey man, I'm doing good, man. I, I think I'm going to need a little recharge tonight. So this is good. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Well, hopefully we move quick and we can have you for the whole show. Joe, how the hell, yeah. how the hell are you, Joe? Oh, man, you know, I was uh, a little under the weather over the weekend, but uh, I bounced back quick, and uh, I'm here ready to rock. You know, let's get it. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. man. It's good to have you here. Go. Presto, how are you, brother? I'm doing wonderful, man. So stoked about the tie. So stoked about this lineup tonight. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah, how does a tie happen? That's so it's, crazy. It's gonna be. It's gonna be an epic playlist, man. It yeah, really I'm gonna. Get, I'm. I'm gonna have to do something special for that. Maybe I'll get some whiskey and get real looped. Sounds great. You know, what would be kind of cool is if we do. Uh, like a one, two, three, you know what I mean? Like, let's instead of like everybody, like we do all four presto or all four four. Yeah, no, no, yo, and that's one. what I was thinking. It's funny you mentioned that. It's funny you mentioned that. We'll get to you in a second, Lady Poetic. Sorry, Let, let's introduce Lady Poetic first. That I'm was sorry. her song, I'm by the sorry. way. Oh, no. I'm we'll, sorry. We'll, we'll get into that. Hold that thought, Ignacio, because I want to talk about that. Uh, Lady Poetic, that was her song, Bar Heavy Hip Hop, at the start of the song. Where can they, where can people download that, Lady Poetic? Oh, thank you. Um, I think that one is on. Reverb Nation or SoundCloud. Reverb Nation. One of the two okay. or both, yeah. So look up Lady Poetic and download that. How the hell are you? Well, doing well. Thank you. How are you? Oh, very good. I can't wait to hear your Jamal track tonight. I'm excited to hear that's yeah, a new artist for me, so I'm, I'm stoked. Great. But Ignacio, back back to what we were saying. Um, I was thinking this is, a, this is a good chance to encourage these guys to t- communicate, you know, on their own. Like, why don't we leave it up to Presto, Forces, and Unique, to make a mixtape for us with three of each of their tracks. That'd be a cool way to celebrate a tie, I thought. like, And then, and then it doesn't have to be in order. Like you were saying, don't do one, two, three of each. Do do it mixed up, like intermingled. Anyway, we'll talk about it. We got a week to plan that. Uh, we got a great show lined up for you guys. Let's get right into it. Glad you're here. The first track of the night is from Presto himself. Yep, and we, yep. we, me, so me and Presto do a, a rock show on Wednesdays on my Wilkshake Entertainment channel and on Presto Ernesto's other channel, like our kind of our personal channels. Like right Presto's on. Underground is his hip hop channel, Temple of Bars is my hip hop channel. Then we have our own private channels too. So right. we do this, this this rock podcast on there, and we got to talk about Chad Muska, who's a wicked skateboarder, because we do this section on the show called Skater Punks, where we listen to punk rock and watch skateboarding. And uh, Chad Muska is a, one of my favorite skateboarders, and I, I didn't really know this. I think I heard it sometime, but Muska Beats is actually Chad Muska making beats. He's got KRS one on this beat. So, so this right. is from Presto. Let's so get it right away. This pick is also oh, sorry, a combination J Rue from sorry? Unique. So this this pick is also from from Unique One. Me listening to his beats, he has like a KRS one sample at the beginning of all his beats. Okay. Okay. So at the same time, a muska just kind of clicked. So I was like, I'm so gonna that was that, inf- that right. was influence. Yeah. So shout out so to Unique One. Get your one. hands up now. Uh. KRS, I'm about to show you how. Uh, yo, what's up? Africa band bottom. Big up. Raekwon, you uh, got. Uh, huh. Yo, Benz, what's you up? You got. Crazy. Prodigy. J. Rue, what's up with you? <laughs> Guru. J. Rue the damage Look, look, look. What are we going to do this? Come on now. A lot of names Get on that. Off no of your ass yourself. Just where am I going? Do I know or am I just floating? Don't follow unless someone's teaching. God's favorite knuckle like on the run eating. Underground style, the style you ain't done yet. I'm DMC and you ain't even run yet. Run, get your tongue wet fast. You got to get off of your ass. 
a matter of fact, these rappers rapping be whack. I'm japping, slapping them back with black actual facts. That's natural, Jack. I read a factual map and speed attack from the back. Clack, clackity clack. They train this off of the track, and not only that, I slap the phonies in fact. I make the money in stacks. I ride ponies in Mac. I'm showing and flowing, no act. Just get off of your Assassinations, tricky situations, musker, muster, lived around hustlers, under, no wonder, a beat hunter, 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 a beat hunter, I love that. Get your hands up now. <laughs> KRS, KRS, one, 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 get, 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 get off of your Asses to asses and lust to lust We live in the inner city where the laws is unjust Somebody pray for us cause we not afraid to bust We read that other part of the book about John the Baptist They trapped us or trapped you but not me Cause I know that I'm trapped in fact I'll get free But you don't even know that you on the plantation Get off of your Assistance we don't need cause we lead Independent remember it we plant seeds Watch them grow and watch how I flow right Left right all day and yes all night Watch me now if you want to see how I'll be spitting what's written maybe I'll freestyle But that's all about me huh. You got to get off of your Musker beats, we can make it complete. Give me a pair of them new CM 802s for my feet. And then you I'm crazy, you crazy, nice. they're crazy too. I seen you on them skates, kid. I know what you do. You could have had anybody on this album with you. Who? But you chose to get Mel, KRS, and Zulu. Then you went and got the woo. But to do that, you had to get off of your. <laughs> Oh man, I love Shad Muska, dude. Like Bismarcky, Africa, Bambata, Raekwon, Yugon, Melly Mel, Guru, Karas One, Jeru, Damager, Prodigy, McLight, Special Ed, Ice Tea, and Flavor Flav. Wow. I mean, Chad Muska, dude, I, I really like Chad Muska. The reason I fell in love with him is because my mom was a narc, dude. Like, she was hardcore. Like, she found, dude, like, first time I got, I, I drank, I got caught. First time I got caught smoking a cigarette, I got caught. First time I got smoke, uh, smoked a joint, I got caught. Like she was. That's just, your mom's she was, fault. She, she was no. I'm just saying she was an educational <laughs> assistant. I'm getting to Chad Muska. She was oh. an educational assistant, so she knew all the kids, but she wasn't the teacher. She was like the cool kid who gave out stickers and shit, you know, which was great. But uh, she was on me, and I had to find a way to hide my weed because there was no way I was stopping smoking weed. And Chad Muska came up with this pair of shoes with a little Velcro stash pocket in the tongue of the shoe. And I found out about this in a magazine. I don't know. It was a skateboard magazine. I don't remember what magazine it was. Transworld or something like that. Or I don't know what it was. And uh, I got though. I got those shoes and kept a little gram in that in that stash pocket every day. And I got. I never got caught again. Chad Muska. Well, I got caught again, but uh, not not in those shoes. She never found in those shoes. <laughs> So I love Chad Muska. When I'm, it reminds oh, me of like um, it reminds me of like uh, being back in high school. Like I wasn't really a hip hop kid in high school. I was more of a punk rocker. But it reminds me of like the kids sitting in a circle, the hip hop kids with a little tape player playing beats and just spitting rhymes in a circle. It reminded me of that kind of old school kind of you know grassroots vibe. Um, I'm not sure how how Chad Muska got involved with all these like prolific MCs. I don't know how this really came together. But maybe when Presto uh says his little piece he can tell us about that but dude i can listen to that all day it's fun it's easy going it's easy to listen to it's bar heavy it's it's but it's still like he's making points but he's having fun while he's doing it they're just goofing around there's just guys hanging out i'm going to give that a solid 8.5 out of 10 I, I would love that on the playlist ignacio what are you saying yeah you know what i think i might have to echo a lot of what you said as far as the grassroots feel of the you know the production and that stuff it kind of feels like uh you you went over to your boy's house and didn't even know that he makes beats and he he yeah. was he was yeah. just like hey well, hey dude you want to check something out and do something <laughs> wrong. and you're just like what the fuck this is dope yeah. like what yeah. like yeah. <laughs> you know like that, that's the kind of vibe I get but I know I I enjoyed it actually it was fun it was a, it was a fun track um, I think I'm with you on that I think I'm gonna give it eight and a half eight and a half. Right yeah, on. yeah, that's cool. Presto, tell us about this. What's the Muska? What's the Muska connection? Yeah, so Chad Muska got like a deal with Shorties and um, DC, I think it was. Um, 
So he got some money and he he literally just paid everybody to make that album. He, like he p paid oh, with no it with, out of his pocket because he wanted to do it. And it was That's really dope. Awesome. It was like late 90s when like a lot of those rappers were kind of going out of favor. Like everybody was into, you know, uh, newer, flashier rappers right. or whatnot. So it was right. kind of like a move out of left field. Everybody was like, what? But then we listened to it and everybody's like, this shit's actually dope. So it's just like mm. it's a it's a nice little gem. Um, mm. Yeah, I I love it. It's a it's a nine for me. Yeah, I like like the freestyle, free verse kind of feel to it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. KRS One is one of my favorites. So, and is it on the album? Is it like one MC per beat kind of thing, or is there collaboration tracks too? Yeah, I think the uh, the Wu track has like uh, Raekwon and you, you got, got and Raekwon. maybe okay. even someone else. I'm not sure. Oh, that's awesome. That's it, awesome. Maybe Look. there's another one with two on it too, but yeah, mostly just one per track. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta find that. Remind me about that too with your sharp brain. It's a, that you it's have. a dope, it's a dope listen. Like special eds on, like there's some, there's some dope rappers on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Okay. Wow. Lady Puttick, what are you saying? Yeah, that was dope. That's a fresh beat. I really enjoyed that. Um, KRS One, right? Another one of the best to do it. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a solid eight point seven five for me. Very um, high replay value. And that's like Chad Muska is a pro skater, dude. Like he, he, I mean, I, I knew, I can't believe like he brought the, he was in the punk rock scene. You know, like he, yeah. he's, he's just like me, you know, he's, he loves punk rock and hip hop. It's the best. Uh, Chad yes. Muska is the fucking best. I love having him on the show. Joe, what are you saying? Um, I, I really dug it. Um, it, it was old school as hell. You know what I mean? A really old school flavor uh, to it. Um, I, I really like surprises when, uh, I, I know who Chad Musk is. You know what I mean. Um, I, I used to skate way back in the day. Nice. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, so I was I was I was a part of uh, uh, all of that culture and everything. So, uh, yeah, until I sprained my ankle. <laughs> yeah, I broke my knee and never went back. Never, never skated again after that, man. <laughs> it sucked. Yeah. But uh, I did. Oops! I just dropped. I just dropped my fucking. It's, light. it's, all, it's always always a surprise when 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 somebody that you don't expect to make beats uh, makes beats and 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 totally shocks you. Mm -hmm. uh, Muska did his thing on that. Um, you know, Balthazar Getty is, is an actor that that uh, you know uh, was was in a bunch of movies and you know he made a beat for Chino XL and it was it was totally sick. Um, but uh, anyway, I, I I liked it. I'm gonna give it an eight. It's nice. all at eight, and the crowd has spoken. We got nine people watching, plus us five on screen. That's 14 people enjoying the podcast, and 100% say yes. That is going on to the next one. Let's get into the next song right now. Number one is capacity. Number two is intense. I sit down and think. When I write, I can smell the ink. I vow before the desert wall of the sphinx. The ideas have come from God. Even I'm stunned. One thousand bars from the real iron lungs. This never been done before in history. Wet love yet infinity. Fighting like habitants of Nordic seas. I disease followed with pop rock and heart disease. Thor's hammer in my grammar rhymes designed not for glamour. You're stammering. North American, African, Mexican. Anglican, Buddhist, Hebrew, anyone's welcome in our crew. Stay true and contract and spread this word spit flu. Vikings and faces flew, spit by skin with loose screws. Into the Atlantic with semantic sail through the Pacific. Keep all the predicates specific. Magnificent project, prolific hieroglyphics. Impact horrific, stereotyping science. 